Hey, hi guys, uh, welcome to PCF. Uh, so in this class, we are going to discuss about the bulk insert task. So in our previous task, we have seen different kind of data flow task, but um, so data flow. So we have used CSV, pipeline, different, different things. Now uh, we have a very common task, right? So in that we have a bulk insert task and uh, uh, process, uh, you know, analysis service, okay, cube also we can adapt the uh, model or SSCS model cubes also we can process. But for now, so we are going to discuss about the bulk, bulk insert task. Okay, bulk insert task will, uh, you know, uh, do, it will not do any transformation. Let's create, okay, okay, let's create a new package. So, and uh, rename that is, that as, bulk insert task, just double click here or right click here and then rename. Okay, so keep that name as bulk insert, insert task. Okay, this is the bulk insert related information. So this one, uh, so yes to all, okay, just, yes to all. So just here, so we go with the bulk insert task. Okay, so first of all, bulk insert task will not do any kind of, you know, uh, ETL operations like uh, transformations, it will not clean any data. And the thing is, see, uh, first of all, is used to import text file data into SQL Server. So always the source will be text file. Okay, that may be CSV, comma, separated tabs, anything. And then destination will be always a SQL Server. And uh, you know, advantage is that so compared to data flow, it's a very fast actually. And uh, uh, we can get data, um, so lots of data we can get, you know, so bulk insert task compared to data flow, why it is fast, you know, so when we will use, you know, so actually SSIS, okay, SSIS will take the different applications data, okay, it will pick the different applications data into SSIS, SSIS, right, sorry, so by using ETL operations, we will dump the data, okay, so when we are in the staging time, okay, when we are in the staging time, will take as this raw data into staging area. Okay, as this uh, you know, raw data into staging area. This is a SSIS raw data. Okay, this is a staging data. Okay, what is this? A staging data. Staging data don't require any uh, transformation. Yes, okay. Staging data don't require any transformation. So that is the reason, okay, different application. What may, that may be .NET or that may be different Excel source or different, you know, so different kind of Excel source and, uh, you know, files, Excel files are different kind of other applications. Okay. You can say any, any sources. Okay. It will take the data into staging area and then after, okay. After staging area, again, we will use the ETL again. We'll use the ETL, um, uh, like uh, by using SSIS, we'll clean the data, we'll transform the data and then we'll load it to the destination. Okay. We'll load into the destination. Okay, so again, here also SSIS, but here we'll use the actual ETL operations. Uh, SSIS, uh, you know, ETL operations will be done here. Okay, so actual transformation and cleaning data will be done here. Then after it will load into the uh, data warehouse. Okay, then after it will load into the destination that is data warehouse. Okay, so like this. Okay, when we are in a staging area, when we are in a staging area, we don't require any cleaning. So that type of that situation, we can go with the uh, bulk insert task case. Okay, that time we can go with the bulk insert task. So hope you are clear. Okay, so when you don't require cleaning and all. Okay, when you don't require cleaning and all, we can go with the bulk insert task. Okay, bulk insert task always take the files. Okay, lots of why I am saying guys. Okay, why it take only files means. So in a real world, okay, in real world, 70% data will be in a files. Okay. So the remaining data only structured data, database data only 30%. Okay. Most of the times we'll use SSIS, the files data only. Okay. So now let me take, so hope you understand why, what is the bulk insert task. Okay. Let me uh, go that and double click on the bulk insert task. Mm, a little bit. Okay. So hope you're clear with that, right? Okay. So now double click on that to configure that, uh, you know, bulk insert task. So in the general section, if you want to rename this one, something you can rename and then connections. Okay. Connections. This is the destination connections. Okay. okay. SQL server connection. Connection is always be a SQL server connection. Okay. You can go to the new connection. 
and then connect to the SQL server. Okay, delete that. Okay, if it is existing, and I'm creating a new one. Um, so my it's a local server. You can connect to the local server, and then uh, database SSH DB I have created, and then click on text connection. So connection has been uh, succeeded. So then click OK, and then click OK. So now we have given the connection. And what is the destination table? Where you want to load the data? So there is a I have created the you know table. Okay, TBL employee bulk insert task. Okay, if you go to uh, yeah, so SQL Server. So I have used a create table a table name, and then now okay, get three columns are there. So I have used these three columns. Okay, to show you. So uh, in that, so if you see, there is no data actually for now. So you can go and then select a table. There is no data now. Just table has been created. That's it. Start from this table. Execute that. There is no data. See, only structure is there. So if you configure, okay. So it's not yet com uh, completed, guys. Okay. So no, now we need to connect the source. Okay. So we completed the destination. Uh, we need to connect the source. Okay, you can take any, um, you know, um, so like, so we have a SSIS practice files, right? So SSIS practice files, you can go to that. So you can take any of these uh, files, guys. Okay, bulk insert task. Uh, so you can take a employee data. So there is an employee data, right? You can click on that or else uh, go with the new one or tab. You can take any uh, tab data. So let's browse that uh, employee tab data so there are uh, three values i think so three or uh, four values are there uh, four rows are there so if you want to see the data like what is there that in the uh, pipe uh, file so just to double click here see so this text code identifier is there so yeah so we have a uh, three values are there so we have configured now okay we have configured now so it's a tab deleter right automatically identified and then go to the options. So what are these options? So these options like batch size, okay? If you have a huge amount of data, so how many batches you want to send? Like suppose, um, so in one room, the capacity is like, uh, uh, you know, 10,000, okay? So uh, something like that, okay? You can go with like 1,000, 1,000 people batch wise, okay? 10,000 people are there uh, to reach the destination, but, uh, so if you want to send them as a batch wise, so you can give the batch numbers like so 10, if it is a 10,000, so 10 batches. Like, so you can give the batch size, how much? 1,000, so 1,000, 1,000 batch size. And then what is the batch uh, row, last row? How many rows if you want to keep? Like how many the last row if you want to specify? If you don't specify, it will take the total rows like, so the first two and then end. Okay, if you give this, uh, you know, so it will go with the maximum, okay? And then our row will start from uh, first only. So the first will be, you know, uh, the first row will be our uh, headers, right? So after headers, the first row. And if you have any expression, okay, but for now I don't have an expression. So when we discuss about the expression task, so you will come to know what is this expressions and all. So for now I don't have any um, things. Okay, just uh, click OK, guys. So that that has been configured now. Okay, that has been configured now. Okay, let's go and execute the task now. So it's executing now. Yeah, it's failed. Why it's failed? If we go to the progress. Uh, text to delimiters. Okay, data conversion error. Okay, so I think the different conversion. Okay, if you want to see errors case. Okay, so here it is getting data conversion. Hope you are able to read this. Okay, so I think uh, so the data is mismatching, the conversion is mismatching. Why? Because so it's in ports, right? So it's obviously I understood. Okay, so that is in port, and then we have given ID uh, as a um, you know number here. Okay, if you give var car, so it will uh, you know. So let's drop the table now and re we'll recreate once. Okay, so well this time while recreating this time we'll give the you know, character size. Okay, so so let's drop a table. So and then um, this time we'll give go with the uh, var cat why because there are uh, code something like that so we 
uh, we cannot handle the codes in bulk insert task guys okay uh, so let's go with the 20 and this is also where 20 we will handle that in a sql only okay let's go and uh, you know, create the table and let's go ahead. okay so whenever you get error so you will go to the progress tab and uh, you can see the results like what is the error and why it is getting and uh, how, what time it is you know how much time it is taken okay so how much time when it is started and when it is finished and how much time it is taken and everything okay so everything you can find here okay in the progress tab. okay let's go here now so and then execute the task okay execute the task now just execute it now so it's executed successfully see so because of that uh, you know uh, see see the results okay now we'll see the results okay whether it is coming the data or not okay see and also it's okay so uh the uh, it's not used the headers i think we have configured wrongly so uh, let's truncate the data now okay so let's go with that uh, okay you hope you are getting okay so it's it's used double time headers double time so what we'll say okay and why i will show you why it is taken okay truncate table table name so when we you know when we face this kind of issue errors so then uh, you will understand okay let's me track it now there is no data there is no data so let's execute okay there is no data now but uh, what we can do so the configuration right so what we have done you know wrong so the first row is a header actually so it's always start with second okay it's always if you have a header so you have to give this two then only it will not give headers again okay this then only it will not give headers again okay let me start okay let me execute only uh, this task okay just execute this task okay so this time executed and then let me go here and then uh, select the data see then hope you are understand right okay just the because of the configuration like uh, so if you give a one it even headers also it will take as a row so that is the reason so every time the first row will be a second okay so you have to give number two so this is about the bulk insert task guys okay bulk insert task the disadvantage is that so always be a file okay so file as a source okay no other sources okay it will not use any other sources so only files it will take and the destination must be a sql server so it will not take any other destinations and it cannot validate the data cannot clean the data okay that's what we have seen right okay so that's what i have given double quotes okay it's, it's not cleaned data just as the data whatever the data is there that will dump as easily okay it will not clean any data so for that purpose only i have given the quotes here so it's it's not cleaning and all we cannot handle that cleaning and all okay so that we can handle in the flat file uh in a data flow base okay that uh, we can handle okay hope you understand what is uh, you know bulk insert task okay we'll discuss uh, remaining task tomorrow okay thank you thank you so much oh, hope you like the video please uh you know uh uh, share and subscribe if you watch my channel first time guys okay thank you guys